Hello everyone, we made an application about checkbox in the previous video. In this video, we will make an example of the radio button. There are label, radio button and frame objects in the project. The label object changes according to the selected radio button object. I will redo the project from scratch. You can like the video and subscribe to the channel to support us. I created an empty desktop window. I will create a frame object. I'm sending parameters specifying its physical properties to the function. I am doing the bind operation using the pack function. I created a frame object. I will synchronize all the objects with the frame soon. I am creating a variable for the question text. I can use the string var function to create a variable. I am sending many parameters to the label function. These parameters represent the physical properties of the label object. I am sending it to the desktop window using the place function. Added label to frame object. I will add radio button objects. First I create a variable for radio button. I am sending parameters to the radio button function. The value value will represent the parameter sent to the task function. You can set the physical properties of the object with the parameters sent to the function. I'm defining a task function. Just pass 4 now. But it was not added to the desktop window because we haven't used the place function yet. I am adding the radio button object to the desktop window using the place function. The radio button object has been added to the desktop window.
I will create another radio button for green. I am making the necessary changes. If you have any questions, you can specify them in the comments. Added second radio button to desktop window. But there is a problem. When one object is selected, the other is automatically selected. Because the value value of the two radio button objects is the same. I can solve this by changing the value values. Problem solved. I will create a new radio button object for red. I place it in the desktop window using the place function. Three objects have been added to the desktop window. I will print a text based on the selected radio button object. I create a text variable for this. For the result, I will add a label object like I created earlier. I am sending parameters to the function. I place it in the desktop window with place. Added label object. Finally, I will code the task function. I am setting the result text using the set function. I can get the value using get function. The label text changes according to the selected radio button object. Thanks for watching. You can like the video and subscribe to the channel to support us.